The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use this Research Process Graphic Organizer tool. This document will help you to organize your thoughts, prepare for your research, and implement useful search strategies that will help you out in multiple search databases later. The previous step in the tutorial should have gotten you to this point in the process, where you have a copy of this document in your Google Drive. You'll be filling out this form for your topic in a few minutes. If you don't have this in front of you right now, pause this video, go back, and follow the directions on the previous tutorial slide until you have your own copy of this file. Here's how this works. Most people start their research with an idea. Let's say I have some friends who've dealt with depression or anxiety in their high school years. It certainly seems like more and more youth are dealing with mental health issues, so I'm interested in researching that for my paper. But just saying I'm going to research mental health is way too big of a topic. There are many hundreds of books written on mental health. If your topic is something that you could find an entire book written about, then it's too broad. So first you need to narrow your topic down to a specific statement or question. I want to study mental health in teenagers, and I'm curious first if there really is an increase in reported mental health issues. A quick Google search confirms that there is. Why is that, I wonder? So now I'm getting to a specific question, which I can enter in step one of the graphic organizer. What issues contribute to the recent increase of mental health issues in teenagers? I could instead say this as a statement that I'm either going to prove or disprove with my research. Maybe something like, social media and technology contribute to the rise in mental health issues in teenagers. That's okay too. But for now, I'll keep mine as a question, since that leaves me open to consider more possible causes. If you want, pause this video right now, and you can start to fill out this form for your research topic. Think about how to narrow your research idea into a more specific question or statement. Write your question or statement in your graphic organizer file in Google Drive. Next, it's not really a great idea to put your whole sentence or question into any library search tool. Instead, we want to pick out the most important concepts or keywords. For my topic, my major keywords are increase, mental health, and teenagers. If you want, pause this video now and jot down your keywords or main ideas under Step 2. Under Step 3, we want to brainstorm more keywords because not everybody uses the same words when talking about your question. Some might be synonyms. For increase, rise is a good synonym, or trend is a related word. Some might be broader words. For mental health, I might say wellness, or more specific words like depression or anxiety. Or for teenagers, I might be more specific and look at either high schoolers or college students, or adolescents more generally. Some words don't really have alternate words, and that's okay, but it's worth thinking about it a little bit. If you want, pause this video again and try to brainstorm more words. Use a thesaurus as linked in the graphic organizer if you need ideas. Step 4 requires us to think critically about our search words. Are any of your words actually phrases? In other words, two or more words that describe one thing? If so, you want to put them in quotation marks. That tells the database, find these words right next to each other as a phrase. I can see in mine, mental health is really just one concept. That's two words. So I'll put it in quotes. College students and high schoolers are other phrases. One other advanced search tip here. Do any of your words have multiple variations of the word or plural forms? For example, look at my word adolescence. There's also adolescence, ending in CE. If I want to search for both of those words, I can use what's called truncation. Look at the last letter that these two words have in common. Here it's the N. Back the word up to the N and add the asterisk, which is above the 8 key on your keyboard. That tells the database, find any possible endings of this word after the N. Another good example I could truncate is high school with an asterisk after the L. You can even truncate a phrase within quotation marks. That will find high school, high schooler, high schoolers, etc. If you want, pause this video again and see if any of your words are actually phrases or if they would benefit from truncation. If so, write them down here. Now you're much more prepared for your search. Look how many more possible search words you have ready for you. In the bottom section, Search Combinations, choose at least one word or phrase from each of your columns in steps 2 through 4. You want at least one word from each of your main ideas. Write out at least one initial search combination here. In the next one or two tutorials, you'll use and modify these search combinations in the actual databases. This is just a draft. As you can see here, you will probably want to try lots of different versions and tweaks 
once you actually start searching. Sometimes your first words aren't the best, and a later search word is actually better. That's totally expected and normal. But as you hopefully saw through this process, taking just five minutes to jot down your research question, your main keywords, and brainstorm other possible search words can really pay off when it comes to having lots more options for searching. If you're struggling with this or any other research assignment, don't hesitate to ask the library for help. Call us during regular hours, email, or chat with a non-UWW librarian 24-7.